Hello people, I am Sky Demolisher and welcome to the first episode of the Let's Play for Titanfall 2. Um, yeah, this is a game that I decided to play through. Um, I'll go through the training just because like, if I start the campaign you might not fully understand aspects of the game. Um, so if I do like the full training, then, you know, um, you get an idea of like the story to a degree and that sort of stuff. Whereas if I just start the campaign, it doesn't have like an opening sequence that sort of explains what's going on. So that's why we're doing it this way. Uh, also you'll see how the controls for the game work and all of that, um, so yeah, without further ado, we will get into it. Uh, and I will mute the microphone so that you can just watch the cinematic. the things I've seen on the battlefields of the frontier, the pilot is the true dominant force. Fast and agile, graceful yet devastating, perceptive, resourceful, and relentless. A pilot sees the world differently. Sheer walls become flanking routes. Pilots fight differently. Experienced in deception and maneuver, even overwhelming odds shift in their favor. But what truly separates the pilot from all the grunts and machines of the battlefield is the bond between a pilot and a titan. to a titan, a pilot can only be stopped by overwhelming force, or an equal. The frontier has been the only home I've ever known. For years, our lands have been destroyed by the IMC, forcefully taking our resources, polluting and destroying our planets, and killing us off if we try to resist. Despite recent victories at Demeter and beyond, we have a long way to go before the IMC is defeated. Now, I serve as a rifleman in the militia, fighting to free the frontier. I'm a long way from becoming a pilot. But when that day comes, I hope I can live up to the honor. So that gives you the basic premise of the game. Um, we start out as a rifleman, I think he called himself. Here we go, rifleman Cooper. That is a pilot. Oh, hell. The ship must have power cycled the Simpod since last time. We'll have to recalibrate it. Captain Lestimosa, and that is his Titan. And uh, yeah, I realised that you'll still get my usual clicky clacky um, stuff. I should have pointed out the subtitles, they're all at the top, and there's no way to increase that font. But they are on. Technically, I'm not supposed to be training you, but in you I see potential. Besides, we're at war. Who's got time for classes, eh? 
Here you go, up and over. Let's pick up the pace, enabling jump kit assist. Jump kits operate on the principle of relaxed ability. Once your jump kit calibrates to your movement style, enhanced mobility becomes second nature. Ah, oh, he hasn't turned on that part of my Beautiful, kit yet. Isn't it? Fired by my home planet of Harmony. This is where I grew up. This is what we're fighting for, Cooper. Good. Now you're moving. Under here. Stay low. So, if you've never played any of like the Titanfall games, it really is quite a fast-paced game, particularly if you go into the multiplayer. Uh, the last time I tried playing the multiplayer, I could get games. Um, I think you still can get games, it's just the lobbies can take a while to sort of fill up. Um, and yeah these are just a few of the weapons I've come across out there I mean yeah so you can see the variety of of weapons here <laughs> you know load your weapon get more precision in down the side let's also just say that while I play first person shooters and stuff quite a bit, I am not a good player. Nah. <laughs> I don't really need to need to do it. Alright, got a new gauntlet for you to run today. Part time is two minutes. Gotta do better than that to continue. Follow the ghost so you get ghosts in the game um they will help like figure out the best violets have to strike a balance in combat speed is paramount but you must also hit your targets the gauntlet is where we practice those skills until they're second nature so obviously um like I said, I'm not great at Remember, move faster when you're warmer. Give it a try. Um and all that. I'm not great at it. Um because it's a sort of a fast paced game, it's one of those things where it's like um you know it might be kinda hard to um you know um keep talking the whole way through but anyway whoa well, shit okay i wasn't meant to do that <laughs> i went off the off the side um basically that's all you need to do nice run see the results board on the wall you said a new best time everyone has different strengths and weaknesses so be sure to run this a few times with different yeah. weapons Look at the results board for more tips on how to improve. Now that you're warmed up, if you want a real challenge, you can race against so the pilot. That's ghosts. my current one there. Though, the pilots who recorded these ghosts are the best in the S and sixteen. If you can beat them, you'll be on your way to being a real You have to for an achievement. You need you to beat his which is number four. T Lestimosa. Thirty five seconds and of oh, 35.45 seconds. Ah, uh, that is All done with the gauntlet. how quickly you need to do it. I'm not going to do it again. It just gives you the next. basic idea of what the game is like. You're like this. It's time you learn the other half of being a pilot. The Titan. Let's go call one in. Aren't pilots the only ones allowed to do that? It's only a simulation rifleman. It's not the real thing. But first, we're gonna need a little more space. Yeah. That's my partner, BT. Vanguard class. Okay. Homegrown militia technology. First Titan chassis we designed ourselves. 
one we didn't have to steal from the IMC. Go ahead, Rifleman. Call on your first type. Look up to the sky. There he is. Now, if you do play this as a multiplayer game, you, uh... All right, Rifleman. Sounds like it's about to hit the fan. I'm pulling you out. Powering down all non-essential systems. Cooper, ready up. Easy, Cole. He just left VR. He needs a minute to decompress. He'll be ready to go. Um, you can drop your Titan on other Titans. If you want. They're killing us. Trying to, anyway. Good session in there. You'll get the hang of it someday. We'll make a pilot out of you yet, Rifleman. But not today. No time. Last the most, sir. Anyway, I think a number of people that have done this as like the campaign have generally skipped this aspect, not realizing that it actually fills in like the first part of um of the game. Because this, this is still like you know part of the training. Um, now, I'll only do it in easy because, you know, it makes it easier to talk. So, uh, this is Operation Broadsword, 9th Militia Fleet, Destination, Planet Typhon, Mission Infantry Support for SRS Classified Operation, IMC Occupied Frontier Space. So you'll often see that down the bottom left, um, you know, sort of like a tiny mission briefing. Uh, now it doesn't automatically start, so you see there is a press A to continue. Um, there have been a number of times that one has actually just sat here wondering why it's taking so long to load, forgetting that one needs to press A. I'm sure you can figure out what happened. I don't think I can um, hack them yet. So these are spectres, um, they are robots. Hold on. This might knock you out, but you should be okay when you wake up. 
Lastimosa. Hostile Titans inbound. Apex Predators. Copy that, BT. Mercenaries. Stay down, Cooper. BT, let's go! So if you've played Apex Legends, you might know who some of these people are. Um, these are Apex Predators. Titan Pilot. We have 18 hours. 18 hours until the Ark is sealed and ready for delivery. Hi, Rika. Leave the corpses alone, you sick bastard. We've got a job to do, eh? We make corpses. We don't clean them up. Let's go! Transfer authorization to new pilot. Link. Bra <coughs> Bravo Tango. 7274. Trooper, take my Titan. Use my helmet and my jump kit. This is the real thing. Take care of him. So you get a log book while you're playing the game. You know, it gives you um, basically like a diary from Cooper's viewpoint. The helmet needs to calibrate and stuff um, so you can see details about Jack. And uh, BT here is missing some batteries. So I'm just going to, like, you know, get ahead that uh, we need to replace the batteries and see the down ship so I'll play like you know a couple minutes in um, but not too far in you know what I mean It um, basically takes you through like the intro again, sort of thing, teaches you how to play it. There is a ghost runner um, for virtually anything. It will analyse the needed stuff. Now I don't have the double jump at the moment. Like this will be pointed out in a couple of minutes. Um, but yeah sort of gives you an idea as to the start of the game um, 
we were going on what was meant to be sort of like a I think like a recon mission um, and the intel was false um, it was a big ambush our ships have come down well you know the main ships have come down Now this sounds a lot different on headphones. I always played this, um, you know, with the uh, the TV speakers. So it's really weird to hear like the emergency broadcast stuff. Well, you know, it's not really an emergency broadcast, but the broadcast stuff through headphones instead. Um, yeah, so it will analyze and all of that. So if you're struggling. You can watch a ghost store. Oh. And you can use an active camo in this. That way they won't see you coming. Hopefully that is loud enough for you guys to hear. Um, you know, but I think it. Pretty sure it gets chucked there and. Um, in the subtitles. Sorry. Like I said, not a particularly easy game to sort of sit there and try to waffle at the same time. This way, I think it was. Yeah. I don't have to. I don't have to shoot people. I don't have to punch people. I just. I enjoy punching people. This was one behind me. Now, there is another, like, if you've played Titanfall itself, um, like, the first weapon that you start with is basically, like, an automatic pistol. If you ever play, like, the, um, you ever play the original game. You normally start with like an automatic pistol. Should probably also point out that um, there are some fairly brutal style um, <laughs> uh, you know um, assassinations with this. Now the double jump's working. This might hurt me. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, it does. Um, yeah, this is a really difficult part. Do I, because we're now almost 25 minutes, do I keep going or do I quit? I think I'll quit for now just because, you know, it gives you a general idea of what the game is going to be like and then we'll just carry on from next week and 
by next week I mean I'm going to keep playing it tonight and just record another video um, so yeah I hope you've enjoyed this and until next time take care of yourselves bye